of in the beginning, but this makes it like completely forward. Has all the me measurements on it. So I am going to add my Saint Germain, and you can make it as sweet or as non-sweet as possible. And unlike the spritz that's really strict on how you make it, you only can have the, the orange garnish on it. Um, the French really encourage you to be very expressive and to do a whole lot of extra good stuff with your presentation. So you can add different types of garnishes. What we have on display for you guys back here is uh, mint, sage, thyme, because you can choose from even some citrus. And all that's gonna add to the aromatic flavor of the cocktail so you can smell it. It looks floral. It just goes along with the Saint Germain lifestyle. And if you want to um, learn more about just aperitif culture or the Saint Germain spritz, there's this awesome book how to spritz French fluently. <laughs> I got so much information out of that book about the culture. It's a quick read. It also has tons of different uh, recipes in it as well. So as we have it already set up for you guys, it's typically served in a highball glass. So we already have that for you over there. Full of ice. Because again, these are all low ABV cocktails so that you can drink with your friends for hours and not be slumping home. 